Hello and welcome to the video walk around of the 2010 10 registration Mercedes-Benz E350 CDI Sport Automatic Coupe. It's Russell again from Russell Jennings and Morpeth. I'll be taking you around this new arrival here at Russell Jennings and Morpeth. It is, it has, oh sorry, it has covered 50,717 miles, four keepers in total. The last one lives very close to where we currently reside in Morpeth, Northumberland. Nice, clean and tidy example, finished in Tenerite grey metallic with a black full leather interior. It's got the command satellite navigation system, it has the 18 inch six spoke split alloy wheels which are all in excellent condition. It has privacy glass. There's the registration number, 2010 registered if you'd like to do MOT checkups on it or maybe get an insurance quote you can. Remember all our cars come with 12 months MOT. Pull here and this releases the rear seats. So it's a coupe but you have got split folding rear seats. To the bottom there it's got the full toolkit and space saver spare along with the gloves. Ladies think of everything. There's a first aid kit on the right there. And also to the left there's a locking wheel nut um, box there too. So it has front rear park distance control mentioned the satellite navigation the thing I really want to stress on this video is this car is absolutely immaculate Tony Curtis who was the previous owner he actually scoured the country for it um, then I'm sure you'll agree if you come and have a look at it, it's in excellent condition We've got xenon headlamps the lower section here is a nice LED running light there as well look at the wheels tires are all very good blue efficiency model this one Look at that inside, absolutely stunning. Now, before we go into too much detail inside, let's take a look under the bonnet. This is a three litre V6 diesel engine. It produces 231 brake horsepower. So that's gonna propel the car from zero to 60 in 6.7 seconds, which is very, very good. And if you've driven the higher power diesel engines, the torque, so as you're um, making progress up slip roads, etc., it's fantastic. And it'll provide a combined miles per gallon of just over 40 to the gallon I think it's 41 point something but if you check the website it will give you that exact st statistic so a couple of other bits of detail I really like of the Mercedes you've got the nice Mercedes Benz embossed kick plate part electric seat with the lumbar supports which are all the switches there there's various different airbags within the seats that you can uh, create the most comfortable position with open the rear it's full seat configuration here it has isofix anchor points for the rear passengers and it's got the lovely contrast stitching so around the leather you've got the nice white stitching there just gives it a bit of a lift working our way around the door card it's got aluminium door card fascias here we've got fully electric adjustable mirrors and power fold function there and it's got the Harman Kardon um, speaker system there also automatic headlamps we've mentioned there Xenon and it's got the multi-function steering wheel with paddle shift gear change as well nice automatic transmission so let's jump inside and take a look look at that stunning so here we go so 50,717 miles on the clock got the full command system it comes with two keys there are the two keys just gonna pop the key in turn it over there you get a lovely nice sound of the v6 so it's got the command system which is your navigation system so from here now if we look to the bottom here this is where we control the navigation system from from this button here a bit like bmw's iDrive now we've got the top here we've got navi so it's postcode entry fairly straightforward stuff next one take a look at audio now we'll go to the audio it's radio cd player so from here it's a six cd multi-changer fm medium wave as well it's got telephone it's got bluetooth telephony we hit video down to the changer so you've got a memory card you've got so if we if we've got music on an sd card we simply there's a plug-in for it there's one of the um, memory cards there you can put in so it's, it's slightly bigger than sd for mercedes um, we've also got the cd changer which is six disc we've got a music register where we can actually store music onto the register and we've got a media interface so if you've got if you buy an adapting lead you can put an ipod in or similar device now that 
is, I believe, in the glove box on these. Eye. Actually, if you look there, look down, it's a little bit dark there, but you can see the plug-in on the left, and there's one of the leads just moving across there. So, next one, we've got the all-important twin cup holders here. You have to have those, of course, for your morning coffee, if you're allowed to drink in the car. So, and then your gear selection, right? This is what's good with Mercedes, right? So we move this down to drive. We've mentioned the paddle shift gear, a change up and down, and you've got your different comfort and sport mode and manual there that you can use. So it is quite a uh, practical car to, to use, covers all bases. Heated front seats there. We've got shortcuts here for one answer. The phone that's on Bluetooth, you can do from there as well. So very, very easy to use. There's cruise control and limiter there. And one of my favorite functions in the middle, that's currently on the digital speedo, so you can ha let you, it can tell you if you're doing 31 miles per hour. You know, there's so many average speed camera limits now. I've spotted an auto dimming rear view mirror and you can see the rest. Look at that interior, it's absolutely stunning. This car's lovely, it's not been smoked in. It's got the lovely clean AMG embossed mats and it's a credit to Tony who used to own the car. Very, very clean and tidy. So last thing I want to show you, it's got park distance control front and rear. If you look to the top of the headline, you'll see the amber lights come on. That's as we uh, approach a obstacle, but very, very easy to use. Now all the handbook packs here, as you can see. I'm not going to go through all the books there, but if we look in there, you can see they're all there. Um, we've got some previous MOTs, but remember, I'm not too bothered about what, what the current MOT status is, because you're going to get 12 months with that anyway. And um, the car got a multi-point check in our workshop, and it'll be tip-top condition-wise. So, next one. Uh, this is some of the service documents it's got. It was serviced at 7,000, 12,000. It was serviced when Tony bought it. He's had a service in uh, March time. Although, again, there's an invoice for that. We are going to service the car um, fully while it goes through our workshop. But remember, we've got some great funding options available up to five years higher purchase. And also, part exchange is most welcome. We've got extended warranties to look at. So when you come down to view it, my name's Russell. I'll run through most of the inquiries with you, but we can run through the options there as well. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. Remember, check out the website, www.russelljennings.co.uk, and there'll be up to 30 cars in stock at any time. Or come down and see us. We're based in Morpeth, Northumberland, which is just north of Newcastle. Any 61 6JT for your sat-navs. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.